morning, everyone. Good morning. See, they're not that bad. <laughs> okay, first of all, I'm excited to be here um, and open this morning, which is also the first day of your program, right? No. 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 You have a lot of work. Second week. Second week. Second week, but you are about to start your actual program, which is the internship, right? Or you already started? Not okay. How many people here started their internship already? No one. How many people here are going to start this week or next week? How many people like next month? Okay. The rest of you are not sure why you're here. Okay. Um, so, I'm super excited to be here because you're all doing Masa, which is a program that is very dear to my heart. So what I want to do is say a few words about who I am, just so you get some context. Then I want to talk to you about something, Shalom, you to sit down. I want to talk to you about something that this early on in the process of this program, you may not want to hear, but you need to hear this. And that's the day after the internship. I want to talk to you about how, how am I offering the help. And then I want to give you a small piece of value whether you choose to work with me or not, I still want you to get something out of this talk, even if we do not meet again. So I'll end with that. So a little bit of context, like really quick. My name is Asaf Luxembourg, born and raised here in Israel, 33 years old, and I'm really all about showing the real face of Israel to the world and dealing with the future of our people. That is my scratch in life. Everything I do, in a way, is related to that. So I am super involved and active in promoting Startup Nation. I meet with a boatload of delegations, students, MBA schools, business people, investors, entrepreneurs, policy makers from all over the world, um, here and abroad. I work with a lot of startups, too. So I am some sort of an ambassador of this side of Israel. Um, I have my own company that basically provides content services for a lot of entities in our space. Um, and consulting, I get to work with a lot of companies in the startup industry, in high tech and beyond, in the Jewish world, here and beyond. Um, a lot of Masa operators, a lot of MBA schools from all over the world. So I'm very active. I was CEO of a startup for two years. I work with programs like Techstars. Uh, I'm part of Israeli startups like Silo, um, which you should all hear about, but not right now. <laughs> um, so that's a little bit about me, like really in a nutshell. That's my other business, which we're not going to talk about. <laughs> How many people here know WeWork? Like a shared working space? Cool. The reason I have this slide is because um, ever since something happened like three months ago, I didn't want to say anything about it, and a lot of people told me that I'm a plain idiot for not saying it. So WeWork held their Creator Awards here in Tel Aviv in Israel a few months ago, and I was one of the winners. So there, I said it. Um, I have a really deep and profound and good relationship with Masa. Um, so I've been employing and taking Masa interns for years. I have a lot of experience in this field. I spoke to hundreds, if not thousands, of radio Masa participants. I work with a lot of programs with people from all over the world for years already. So some, you know, uh, um, already moved on since then. A lot of them came here, a lot of them went back home or other places, became friends of mine. So I am very active in this world. And I want to talk to you about this. Because you may think this is the beginning of your program. But please understand what I'm trying to say right now. Today is maybe the first day of the end of your program. And that's how I advise you to think about it. Not get stressful and freak out, but take it to a proactive place of excitement and doing. So 
So I want to talk to you about the day after this program, because today is the first day of the end. And you all know a thing or two about the world out there. Egypt is great, but once you go out to the desert, let's understand that desert. Because you're going to be there. You can't stop time. So you all know today's world of work. This is not what we saw on TV when we were kids. The world of work is different today. I don't need to tell you that. You already know that. This is not about jobs anymore. It's about careers. It's a different language. Things that you used to take for granted and you said, okay, I can rely on this because the world is that, suddenly that changes. Things that you thought are too changing, they're too liquefied, you can't rely on them, suddenly they become the stable stuff. So constants become variables, variables become the constants. The world of work is flipping on all of us. 20 year olds, 30 year olds, 40 year olds, everyone. You all know this. And today it's all about the value of your brand, AKA your reputation. Not your website, not your logo, not your LinkedIn profile or your Facebook avatar, what people actually say about you in the real world behind your back. That's what will get you further. So let's understand what that means. I really advise you to start understanding that in today's world, my belief is that you are, I am, we all are business units. B&L, profit and loss, business units. You work in a large corporation next year, in a big bank, 15th floor, you think you're safe? You're a business unit. Meaning your boss is your customer. <coughs> Checking the boxes, faster, better, cheaper is not enough. Sorry. Customers need to be satisfied. And everyone else, team members, colleagues, they're your consumers. Understand that. You are the owner of you, LMC. That's the way the world works. In today's world of work, you need to always ask yourself, what can I do that other people actually need and want? And that's true for this internship and this program as well. It's not necessarily what they tell you to do, it's what you can do for them. Because you're a service provider, you're a business unit. You also need to tell the world, your Israeli boss, your Israeli team members, your fellow program participants, who you are and what you're all about. Because your job will not do it for you. Our grandparents worked in the factory their whole life. The factory was their tribe. It determined who they were. No employer will do that for you. You have to tell the world who you are. And you have to be unique and valuable and relevant. So your network and your community, boy, do they matter a lot in the world outside today. Your career is not the random set of jobs you will have in the next 30, 40 years. Your career is an equation that has your goals, your education, your vision, your skills, your interests, and your values. These are the constants. And you have to understand that. You do it in the beginning of this program, you will be much further ahead in that race. So there are implications for this new world of work. You have to know who you are and communicate that out there. And you have to be the best version of yourself. That's number one. You have to start with your why. If you're all sitting here today, there's a certain why that got you here. You could have been in New York, but you're here. Start with this why. What you do and how you do it will change 10,000 times. The why is here to stay. Find a why that is yours to keep. 
Dreams are very important, so you can find a why that you want. But if you suck in what you do, then nobody can help you. So you have to know yourself and be realistic. You need to invest in building a value-based brand. And this program is a tremendous opportunity to do that a lot in a short amount of time, but it's done right. That sentence is taken from a known person called Gary Vaynerchuk. Once you get that mindset, you understand that at macro, you need a lot of patience. This program will not get you, most likely, the job of your life, which you will never quit and you'll be happy at the end. It doesn't work like that. Don't look for that. It's a myth. You need a lot of patience. This program is another chapter in your book. But on the micro level, you need to be super fast. Speed, emails, chats, more meetings, at work, outside of work, using your network to meet new people. Every day here counts. Because every day is another day closer to the end, four or five months from now. So the next few months are imperative. You need to set the course. You need to plant seeds. Because you don't know where you'll be in five years. But you should know where you want to be in 10 or 15 years. Communicate that and allow people to help you get there. Me included. If you don't know where you want to be in 15 years, you'll have a hard time getting there. And people will have a hard time helping you get there. Your enemy is time. That's a little bit about who I am, what I think you should think about. With a smile on your face, with having fun, go to the beach, to the pub, but have that part two. Not fall asleep for three months and then wake up when it's too late. And I'm here to help with that. And even if you do not beat me, which I think is a humongous mistake, I still want to add value and give you something that will help you. So here's something I heard when I was 23 years old like 400,000 years ago that really helped me and I want to share that with you.